take leaders' questions. Uh, Deputy Pierce Doherty, please. Before I begin, I want to express uh, my condolences to the families of the children that were murdered in Robb Elementary School in Texas. Uh, our thoughts are with the heartbroken families at this time. In Cancorlia, uh, I would like to also, um, along with yourself and the rest of the, the team here, I'd like to welcome uh, First Minister-designate uh, to the doll today and her team and wish her all the best as she leads the Assembly uh, into this term. Ara, you have to be in a good policy to hear and real this a chapu. Ara is Scania, Ian Flanatogid, La Kerrihead, Quigga, Million Euro, the Aragid, Kenya Kirin, the Chirisha, Horta Forbury, Pontia Hogal, now will end the new Abbot, Hanart Margo, which is wrong year. Is Fenu or policy of Fianna Fuel, a Russian chorus to hear the Atash of August Bohor, Jerry Hurlish? We, Minister, had three reports in recent weeks. Uh, that highlights in the sharpest way the failure of you and your government to get to grips with the housing crisis. Extortionate rents continue to soar with the number of rental properties now at an all-time low. Off-the-wall house prices that are up again beyond the reach of ordinary workers and families. And the scourge of homelessness now is returning to the shameful pre-COVID-19 levels. And we now hear that your tar targets for housing are under serious threat due to spiralling construction costs. By any objective measure, Minister, your approach is failing and you are failing spectacularly. The housing crisis that is being created by Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael defines the life of an entire generation. And on your watch, Minister, things have gone from bad to worse. And is it any wonder that the newspapers are now referring to the houses, housing crisis as a decade of shame? And amid this social catastrophe, what do we get from you as Housing Minister? A ban on rent increase and evictions? No. A serious ramping up of direct delivery of genuinely affordable homes? No. An initiative to cut rents? Well, not on your watch. No. What we get instead is a bonkers scheme where you're going to give 450 million euro of taxpayers' money to developers to build apartments that, where there will be no reduction in the prices that would be charged to homeowners. It is absolutely off the wall stuff. You will pay these developers out of public purse to build apartments that only those earning the highest salaries will be able to afford. Seriously, Minister, the question needs to be asked again. What planet are you living on with this type of scheme? And it gets worse because you're not being entirely honest about your madcap plan. Last week in the Dáil, you quoted purchase prices of €250,000 for these apartments to be delivered under the scheme. However, according to a non-published document that has been circulated between developers and the housing agency, the anticipated open market value of a one-bed apartment is 320000 a two-bed is 390000 and a three-bed is €445,000. So, Minister, where are you getting the 250000 that you told the doll last week? All you have to do is take a look at daft.ie. Apartments for sale in this city of Dublin command average prices of between 400 and 500,000 euro. That's on your watch. And why are you raising the hopes of people who are looking to buy a home when you know that your scheme is only going to dash those hopes once again? The truth is, Minister, that your scheme won't deliver affordable housing for people. Isn't that the truth? You know it, we know it. Why don't you tell the people straight? It is straight from the old Fianna Fáil playbook that destroyed the housing system at the start when you were last in government. Big handouts to developers and home ownership only for those who are the wealthiest. So I'm urging you, urging you to come to your senses and to scrap this scheme, to scrap it today. I'm asking you to instead to invest the £450 million to fund local authorities and approved housing bodies well, to deliver affordable homes that ordinary families and workers can buy. Thank you very much, Deputy Doherty. Minister O'Brien, please. I was able to get a lot of people in the world and I was able to get a lot of people in the world and I was able to get a lot of people in the world and I was able to on behalf of government uh, to give our deepest sympathies to those in the terrible murder of, of innocent children uh, in Texas and our thoughts are with their, with their families and with, and with their communities. Um, Aaron Kesh Sunruk a hiakta to hear that the cockshe on flan is loider and flan is tavak to hear that Norive care a billion euro investeer to er to hear the socialta agus to hear the inagvana freshen and kabroak on flan show agus a broak she and ta is agat fui she nilain flan ek shin fein 
Neil Ain Flan er chur be ag Sinn Féin. In a year er gachrod, in ai gachrod, Sinn Féin Flan er Sinn Féin. Um, if I could say, uh, Ciarán Corla, the government have a housing plan that is working, that is €4 billion Euro of investment, €1.2 billion Euro per annum more than Sinn Féin proposed in your 16-page policy document, eight pages of which are pictures and pictures of cups of coffee and your spokesperson on housing. We're very serious, we're very, very serious in relation to increasing supply, and supply is increasing. Uh, there are affordability issues, no question. That's why we passed the Affordable Housing Act, the most comprehensive piece of legislation on affordability that has ever come before this House, which uh, you supported, uh, didn't come up with any alternatives to it. And there are a number of measures within it, a number of measures, particularly around the delivery of, so, of affordable housing through our local authorities, which we're doing. This year we will see homes sold at €166,000 and upwards right across this country. We will be launching an open uh, for people who are stuck in that rental trap, stuck in that affordability trap, the first home shared equity scheme, which is going to help thousands of young and not so young people bridge the gap between the finance that they have and the finance that they need by the state taking an equity, not by a second mortgage, as you claimed and as your housing spokesperson claimed last year. And you supported the Act, and I welcome that. And it is about supply, and it is ab about activating dormant planning permissions that are there. And the Cree Kona has Cities Fund uh, is a targeted measure to ensure that people can actually own apartments in our five major cities across this country, uh, done on an open book basis, where the support goes to the purchaser, not to the developer. And you know that, but you see, but it doesn't suit your narrative, because your narrative is, uh, on every issue, is to oppose, 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 and say that it's not working. We've had the highest amount of commencements in the year to March this year than we've seen since 2007. We've had the highest amount of first-time buyer mortgages in, in the year to March uh, this year in the 12 months than we've seen since 2007 also. And we will support people in owning their own homes because we believe in home ownership. And whilst we're doing that, Deputy, uh, we're also delivering more social homes this year than has ever been seen before in any year since the foundation of the state. And we're doing that even though you and your colleagues right across the 26 counties continue to object, 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 delay, delay, delay. Well, if you want me to give you specific examples, your own, your own party leader sitting beside you has become a serial objector too to developments that are happening. You've, oppo you've opposed Oscar Trainer Road. You, oppo you opposed Ballamastone, Stone, 253 social, 253 affordable homes, and yes, some private homes too, because let me tell you something, private ownership is not illegal either, okay? So you've opposed that, you've opposed Oscar Trainer, okay, you've opposed O'Devany Gardens, any scheme that comes Time forward, up, Minister, because you do not you. want to see progress. We have a plan that will Time work. Is up, please. Thank Minister, you, Minister. Minister, Minister, enough of your spoofing. Here's a couple of home truths. You've been in this uh, department now for a couple of years. House prices are going through the roof. Entire generations locked out of home ownership. Under your watch, rents are spiralling out of control. In many counties, they're increasing uh, uh, dramatically, which means people are falling into homelessness. And homelessness now is nearly back at record levels. That's your plan, and your plan is not working. Here is the confidential document that you haven't published about Creconia, and it is not about reducing the market value for the buyers. €445,000 for a three-bedroom apartment? What planet are you living on? Which families and workers out there, ordinary people, can afford that amount of money? And who, who do you write the cheque to? You write it to the developers. €144,000. Straight out of the playbook of Fianna Fáil, right back to the times of the Galway tent. We know who your plans are working for, but they're not working for ordinary families and workers. They're not working for renters. They're not working for the generation who are locked out of home ownership. What you need to do is call Come to your senses, scrap that plan, invest the 450 you, million the into local authorities, approved housing schemes, and build affordable homes you, for workers and families. Thank you very much, Deputy Lowry. Minister, just and the Minister now without the interruption, please. But, well, <laughs> Angus, try to help yourself. Try to restrain yourself if you could. The, the reality of it is, look, uh, at every juncture, at every juncture on this, you've tried to distort what the truth is. This is a targeted measure to support home ownership in our five major cities, where the support, I'll repeat it again, goes directly to the homeowner. That's not true. Goes directly That's to the homeowner. And, hey, look, 
Piers, try to calm down a little bit. Yeah, well, look, I have this. By the way, that document is not a secret document. We published all of the details on Creek Corner online. Your housing spokesperson didn't even know that last week when he questioned me and asked me where the document was. So we need to do your homework. And maybe you need to do a bit more homework. Because what this is, you're, you're, you're opposed to build to buy. We know you're opposed to build to rent, even though we need more rental properties. But we need a balance between ownership and we want home ownership and we want apartments where people... Hold on a second. If you just let me respond, you mightn't like the answer, so don't shut me down. I won't be bullied by you. I'm, I'll be allowed to, be, to speak. Well, look, there's a track record there that you might want to talk about. But what I'm saying to you is this. You're opposed to build to rent, and now you're opposed to build to buy. Thank you, Minister. And I ask the question, what are you actually for, Piers? Very little. You don't want... Sorry. Piers, you're up. It's, it's Hayden. It's, well, look, there's really, there's really no point in even trying to respond when you keep interrupting. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, they're uh, and this, this happens response, on a regular sir. basis, and that's fine. Yeah. The proof yeah. is in the figures in commencements. That's what's happening. There's improvements happening. We're not there Thank yet at minister. all. And we know that, but we're being honest with Thank people. You, Don't try to distort Thank the you. truth, Piers. Thank you. Don't... Please. Can I, can I again appeal to you, please? Can we, do, can we please conduct our business in a semi-civilised and orderly manner, please? Now, please, a parliament. Thank you, Deputy O'Snoddy. In a proper, a proper, a proper parliamentary fashion, De Deputy Duncan Smith, please. Thank you.